Today marked the start of what organizers are calling an international climate rebellion, and the world's youth are taking the lead. Extinction Rebellion organized today's protests along with other activist groups. Their main goal is to get governments around the world to pass policies that would severely limit carbon emissions. All of this, they said, is to provide a safe planet for future generations. Joe Phillips teaches young children how to work with nature and is also a spokesperson for Extinction Rebellion. It's great, but the more I do it, the more I realize their futures are literally at stake. And my son, who's four years old, by the time he's my age, I mean, global warming levels could be to the point where many parts of the world are basically uninhabitable. And that's really scary. Many high schoolers showed their worry about the future by staging a die-in in front of City Hall, calling on leaders to support them. Legally, I can't hold office. I can't even vote in the next presidential election. We are begging you, the people in power, the people who have the power, to act. Some students, like 16-year-old Camille Petacolis, said the lack of action to address climate change makes it hard for them to experience their youth. I'm here because I believe that my future is being destroyed, and I believe that my straight A's won't matter if I'm dead. Protesters want city leaders to know that it will take more than recycling to prevent climate change impacts. And climate activists aren't stopping here. Protests just like this one are happening all over the world today. As for Chicago, they hope to see Governor J.B. Pritzker enact the Clean Energy Jobs Act. For Good Day to Paul, I'm Erica Carbajal.